All right, we're here for an update. I haven't done one in, I don't know, 10 or 12 days. I've taken some video. Some of it I'll probably use in this one. Um, but it's just been unbearably hot and it's either that or it's raining cats and dogs. So they've had electricians in here, as you can see. They've run conduit everywhere for all the electrical stuff. Um, my Cat 6 cabling is going to be in there as well. I have a spot to hang a TV here on the wall with power. And Cat 6. Another Cat 6 spot down there and some power for my computer. Really impressed with this wiring this guy's done. He's got everything pulled to right here. Looks like they're using probably different colors for different sections of the house big junction box up there um, some of the other things they've gotten done since my last video is they finished blocking a lot of this up so all of this is completed now they've actually come in here and cleaned quite a bit quite pleased with the way they keep the inside of the house as far as the construction stuff goes I mean it gets a little messy but they are working and then out here, they've done the brickwork up top here. They finished off these columns here and over here with brickwork top to bottom. We got the front door frame all set in. As you can see, all that's bricked in now. Um, I think the electrician people had six or seven guys here working, and they had a couple of guys here doing a finish up uh, brickwork and concrete work uh, things like putting in the edge here so that they can come back and do the doors and the windows looks like most of these door window frames are all done now but yeah looking really good um, I was here one morning with the electrician and I asked him to add couple of receptacles in some places he had no problems doing that for me I'm sure I'll get a bill from the builder but um, I'd rather get it done at this stage than to wait until they uh, shook all the walls make them smooth and then come back in here and do that again we've also been to home pro a um, couple of days a couple of times in the past week or so to look at kitchen stuff uh, the wife has already picked out some cabinets and doors um, a stove, an oven, a microwave, I think everything but a refrigerator. Um, they're going to do a dishwasher right here, a sink in front of the window, and then uh, I think it's about nine feet of countertop. So somewhere in here will be the end of the counter. We'll put a refrigerator there, and then there'll be a kitchen bar sticking out somewhere about here I'm guessing so yeah I'm coming along really well just wish it wasn't so damn hot um, I had them add a couple of the outlets out here and one on the front porch and then uh, some switches out here to control a few things he said he'd come back and do the wiring for uh, the swimming pool pump house Still undecided what to do with the pump. I'm thinking uh, as an option I might get a submersible pump and put it in the pour hole over there and then just bury the uh, plumbing line from there to somewhere in here where the pump house will be and put all of that stuff in that little pump house and outdoor shower room right there and then just run stuff into the house. At least that's what I think because the other thing I've thought of doing is just building a shed over top of that pump over there um, out of some of these bricks that are left over and using it to keep tools and yard stuff in um, but I'm kind of leaning more towards the submersible pump and getting rid of that ugly mess over there and not have, only have to build one one little water house as they call it here all right, so that's enough for today. It's hot standing out here. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.
All right. Okay. He's here to dump some gravel and hopefully take care of our uh, little muddy road. He's going to start the dump right there. He's going to put that chain on there so that when he opens that back, it doesn't all dump it all out at once. I'm going to come stand over here in the shade with you, Omar. It's getting hot today, huh? There we go, now drive. Yeah, that's good. He needs to throw some of those rocks under his back tires. I had a guy bring me in a load of gravel this morning. Um, 4,800 baht. Uh, it was a big six wheel truck. I think it was somewhere between, or they called it 15 or 16 cube of stone. Um, he was able to spread some of this out just by driving and lifting his bucket up. But uh, it's pretty soggy down there, so he got stuck a couple of times. I've got a guy with a tractor coming that's going to push the rest of this around. Hopefully, it's enough to get a enough gravel spread out here so that people coming over here myself included don't get stuck in the mud as you can see even just standing right here it's pretty soggy you can see where the guy was spinning his tires to get out of here all right talk to you later